IS originally came from Syria, so this kind of guerrillas of um, militiamen kind of grew out of there and literally broke down the Syrian-Iraqi border. And from there, we're able to reach the Kurdish uh, region of uh, Shingad. And that's where a lot of the uh, Izzidis and uh, Zoroastrian Kurds live, and Christians. For one thing, we can't tolerate uh, genocide. We've been through it before, back uh, during Saddam Hussein's regime. We cannot, without a doubt, repeat history, and it's happening again. Unfortunately, a lot of the Izzidis have been slaughtered, have been raped, have been kidnapped. The women have been um, used as prostitution. Uh, the men just kind of swipe them off uh, through the villages. They rummage through all these homes and take whatever they want. Uh, it's extremely sad. You feel hopeless because you want to be able to go there to help and be able to fight this war, but you really can't. Uh, there's only so much I can do. But it becomes um, a, a point of departure for me because I use uh, this kind of dramatic experience that is going on in the Kurdistan regional government to kind of uh, make my own work with. And this is what I kind of do as an artist. For me as an artist, I want to somehow, um, one, portray what's going on in the Middle East as a social commentary, but as well as like having my own voice and kind of representing what's uh, what the effect has been um, leaving there as well as uh, what's going on now. And it's Again, it's, it's always a little difficult to kind of represent uh, identity and, and there's, it's such a broad subject, so, but you can really understand when you get in the mood of painting just how much it's just wonderful. Uh, initially this painting just started off with just um, two Kurdish men kind of riding in the boat and uh, these are fishermen um, in Lake Dukan, I believe, uh, which is kind of in the Sulaymaniye region in Kurdistan. Um, so I just wanted to, uh, want to capture just the everyday life um, in Kurdistan. And you can see it's not like, it's not as different as people think. You don't think of people being slaughtered or uh, men and women are um, killed every day in Iraq, suicide bombers. This is just another any day, every day uh, life in Kurdistan. So it's not, nothing dramatic, it's just very calm, very peaceful, and it's pretty wonderful. Well, I kind of like a branch off on all mediums. I like majority do large scale drawings and painting as well. I use a social commentary to comment on what's going on in, um, in Kurdistan. Um, kind of ideas of uh, being lost in identity, being uh, displaced from my homeland. It's, it's kind of like a a play on that and juxtaposing the idea of just like what terror really means. It's hard to pinpoint why ISIS is doing this and why they're being so forceful to push Islam towards their agenda because and real real Muslims around the world can see this and know without a doubt these are not real Muslims. These, these are terrorists and people or savages who are using the word of Islam to kind of wipe out anyone who's either against them or uh, opposes them. So it's really difficult for, especially us, which are the majority are Muslim in the Kurdistan regional government um, of Iraq, but it's really difficult uh, to kind of agree what they do. And it's, they do it in a very radical, extreme way. So initially, I'm working on this drawing right now. It's in, kind of in progress. Um, I'm it was based off of just the idea of the genocide and uh, what um, IS and Daesh have done to the Izzidis and Christians in Kurdistan. Um, it's kind of like this uh, like arrangement of all these dead bodies in perspective. And you can see all the, like some of them are missing arms, some of them are missing feet. And like majority of them are kind of like all uh, deteriorating into the earth. So it's kind of like just a representation of this body of landscape, this uh, landscape of all these bodies um, that IS has kind of done to the Yazidis Yiz uh, and Christians in the Kurdistan. They're raping uh, young women, they're committing um, beheadings on civilians, and they're just wiping out as much as um, people as they can who are not with them, which is extremely sad because you have on one hand the population of the Christians who don't are not Muslim 
and if they don't convert, they pretty much get killed, which is extremely unfortunate. But um, it, it's, it's, there's only so much that the Kurdish regional government can do and help in uh, providing aid for them. And as well as uh, the U.S. providing aid from aerial support, which is great, uh, but IS has kind of been dramatically moving um, in a lightning force to village to village in Kurdistan, uh, just taking whatever they can from wealth, the golds that people have left behind. I don't think a Westerner can really fully understand how it is unless if you put yourself in their shoes and um, one being a refugee myself uh, years ago coming to the US um, I, I know that feeling and I know how horrible that is to feel that the, the feeling of hopelessness and just how that um, has affected you is it's pretty dramatic.